guys it's Tori welcome to my channel or welcome if you're new so in today's video I'm going to sublimate a mug and I'm going to walk you through it and we're going to use a confection toaster oven so the first thing we want to do is head on over to Cricut Design Space and I am going to use this template that I found on Etsy I like this specific template because it has like the little grooves in it and it so it wraps around the mug really nicely so anyways let's go ahead and get started so let's say that you have the template and obviously I changed the color it is normally white but you wanted to add your image I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did mine basically I just grabbed the image and I placed it where I wanted it and then I went ahead and I moved this over and I did the same thing and once you have it set up the way that you want you'll just go ahead and select it then hit group and flatten and that's it so let's go ahead and hit make it whoops one second you know what if that actually I'm glad that that happened let me show you what you can do in that situation on the left hand side right up here are three bars you want to go ahead and select that then go down to settings and load type and we want to change print then cut page size to an eight and a half by 14 and then hit done so now we should be able to hit make it we want to mirror this image and hit continue send to printer and I'm going to send it to my Epson ET2720 which I converted to a sublimation printer if you're interested I'll leave the link below it's super easy and then we're going to go ahead and switch this to the Epson and I'm going to leave the bleed on I'm going to turn on the use system dialog because when you hit print that takes you directly to printing preferences and you want to check those before you print and we're going to change it again right here and then hit preferences and we want to change the document size to legal and then I already have mine defaulted to the better paper type and the quality is the best if otherwise you'll just click on it and select which one you want and then you'll want to go to more options make sure that you have high speed and mirror off and the reason we're having the mirror off is because we are mirroring it in Cricut Design Space then we'll select advanced and the color controls I like to have the color mode in the gamma if you have an Epson at Adobe RGB and gamma 2.2 and then you'll go ahead and just adjust the color controls to your liking hit OK and hit OK and we're going to go ahead and send it to the printer. I'm off of the Epson printer and we're going to go ahead and place it on the Cricut and have Cricut cut it. You'll want to make sure that you place the sublimation paper just like you see here and then we're going to go ahead and put I've already printed and I'm going to select laser paper because it's so similar to laser paper and then we'll just load the mat and cut it and we'll go ahead and get started. This is the Cricut 15 ounce beveled mug and it comes in the box. So let's go ahead and open it. And we need to definitely clean it because it has debris on it even though you don't see it but once you sublimate it pops out so you definitely have to clean it I'm going to use rubbing alcohol and you can use that or you can use a lint roller whatever you want so let's go ahead and just apply alcohol thoroughly over every everywhere we're going to sublimate and then dry it really well Okay, I think that's pretty dry. I'm going to use sublimation tape or heat resistant tape is the same thing. And we are going to grab the image and apply it. And it's so important to make sure that when you put the image that you place it the right side up so it's not upside down. I've done that as well. So we're gonna go ahead and take this, place it here, and then it has the cutout holes, which is perfect because it helps you keep it centered. And you also want to make sure that you line it up. So 
so it is even. Just double checking, making sure that it is perfect before I apply the tape and that looks very good. And tape it down. Just wanna make sure you tape it really well because you want it to press down onto the mug. So first I'm going to go around the top and I'm gonna place the tape kind of halfway on here and fold it over. And we're going to do that on the bottom as well because we want the sublimation paper to press tightly against the mug. So this is the top. Then we're gonna turn it over, do the exact same thing. Now we have top and bottom, and then we need to also do the exact same thing on the handle because if you don't, it will not look as nice and it won't be consistent throughout. So we need to make sure to do that as well. I'm just going to place my earbuds right there just to kind of keep it from rolling around. This looks super good. Then we're going to go ahead and shrink wrap this. Okay, so I'm going to use sublimation shrink wrap and this is not specifically made for the mug. They do sell some, but I just have like a kind of one size fits all and you just kind of make it work. And that's what I'm using. So I'm just going to cut it in half. And then we're gonna wrap it. So first I am going to place this handle right here where the crease is. And let's turn it around. I like to just take scissors and snip it just on the side so it wraps around better. So let's just kind of do that. And then let's just cut that. So I'm just cutting an area for the handle. Then it's, it fits better and it will apply more pressure. So now we're going to go ahead and place this down and tape it and the tape is not my friend today so let me get a new piece let's just put a little piece of tape here for a second okay then we are going to wrap it around and I'm gonna again cut just a little excess off not much then you want to make sure that you tape the handle area as well just like you did on the sublimation paper. And let's see, I'm just gonna kind of fold this down where normally I don't, but I'm just going to fold, fold this down a little bit and tape this just, you know, not too special, just because then when it shrinks, I don't know, I'm just doing it this way. I don't normally do this, but today I am. And again, you do not have to do this. It's just what I feel like doing today. Tomorrow it could be different. Okay, so oh, that looks perfect. And we are preheating the confection toaster oven at 400 degrees. You wanna make sure to preheat it for at least 15 minutes before using. And we're gonna go ahead and get the heat resistant gun and shrink this. Let me just add just a little bit more tape. Okay. So I just like to get pretty much, um, make it really tight and get rid of like any lines or anything that you see. You want to make this as tight as you can actually in my opinion because then it presses harder on the sublimation paper underneath which then does the same onto the mug so that's why I do that
Okay, so this has been preheating for 15 minutes at 400. And this is a confection toaster oven. It has to have, it has to be able to use confection in order to sublimate as far as I know. So anyway, you would definitely need heat resistant gloves because it's super duper duper hot and you'll burn yourself. And I'm going to place parchment paper down on the rack and then I'll put the mug inside. And you want to have that on parchment paper because otherwise when the shrink wrap melts, it'll melt onto the wire rack and you don't want that. So let's go ahead and place that in here and place this here, close it, and we're gonna set the timer for 15 minutes. And I don't have to rotate it because it's big enough and it'll be fine just so. it has been 15 minutes. I'm quickly putting my heat resistant gloves on and let's turn it off, take it out. And it is hot. And obviously with the gloves, it's just warm. You're not gonna burn yourself. But I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this stuff off because I like to do it when it is hot. I actually think it's better to take it off when it's hot because this hardens and I think it's harder to take it off once that hardens. But I could be wrong because I, I take it off when it's hot. So I really don't know. But I do know that it has, does harden. All right. Ooh. I think that looks pretty good. Ooh. -hoo. Looks cute. What do you guys think? So um, as always, comment below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.